No lie, that class was on the fiery side. This class is the post-recorded live class from Tuesday's All Level Fire class. And because we really catered this class towards building up heat and strength in your body, some of the movements might be on the more challenging side. As always, you want to listen to your body and be mindful, practice with kindness, and ease off whenever necessary. Over time, with patience, the more you practice, the easier it gets. I've also just released series, so it's very exciting and you can learn more about it over here or on my Instagrams. We're also still extending that 50% off code HOME and we've even extended the date until the end of April for you guys, so definitely check that out. As for what props you'll need for this class, I have here a strap, my trusty Shavasana eye pillow. I have here two glider discs or you can use fuzzy socks or a towel under each foot. And I have two blocks, always with my blocks. There's also a Spotify playlist that goes with this class. So I have a laptop set up right by my mat to hit play. I'll cue you guys when to start the music. Otherwise, if you guys enjoy, I'd be so grateful if you would hit that like, hit the subscribe, that notify, leave me comments, feedback, questions. I love hearing from you guys and I will see you on your mats. So just start by setting all of your props to the side of the mat. And today we're gonna start lying down. Get comfortable. And you can take any leg variation that works for you. Supta Baddha Konasana is a favorite. Butterflying your knees open as the feet connect. Or you can even step your feet down and allow your knees to knock into center. Or legs can be all the way out, Shavasana style. Arms down by your side. Lengthen your shoulders into the mat and lengthen your tail. So feel for your spine to be supported. And you can either keep your hands there or you can take one hand to the heart, one hand to the belly, whatever works best for you. But the purpose of coming down to lie down, it's that first step coming onto your mats. It's a reminder to tune in to connect, to notice and observe. So close your eyes if you can. Allow all of the external sounds, distractions, movements, anything external to you to dissolve and dissipate into the background. Your inner gaze, take it to the space between your eyebrows. And then from that center, that third eye center, broaden the temples. Relax your eyebrows. Relax your face. Feel as though the sides of your face could melt into the mat. As though your most physical outer layer were melting down into the mat. Tune more center. Find your breath. Notice where it originates from. Maybe there, the very base of the tailbone. Inhale your breath all the way up the length of your spine. Feel it draw up through the belly as it expands in the heart. Moving up. And then open your mouth to release your breath. Slow down your breath. Inhale from the very base of your spine. Draw your breath in and up. Let it linger in the heart as it expands the ribs. Even bring your breath up to your throat and let it linger in the throat. To the top of the head, to the very crown. And then open your mouth back out. One more breath, slowly draw the inhale all the way up the length of the spine, allowing it to, it to spread as it rises up the spine to the peripherals. Let it linger in the heart, lift it up to the throat, hold your breath, feel your heart beating in your chest and the breath linger, hold it there. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Sigh. 
As you quiet the mind, find your intention. Find your word for the day. One word, one phrase. And then we'll take one last breath, full breath in. Open your mouth, release it out. Slowly, you'll step one foot onto the mat at a time if it's not already there. <clears throat> and take your feet hips width apart or shoulder width apart. Allow your knees to drop to the left and you can cactus your arms, just turn your gaze to the right. So we're taking a little bit of a twist. Energetically draw the right knee forward and down to feel stretched down the right side waist and down the thigh. And inhale at center and exhale, take it to the other side. Energetically draw left knee forward and down as you turn your gaze towards your left shoulder. Think about spinning your left rib cage to press down to the floor. Inhale, draws the knees back to center and then just windshield wiper. Swipe the knees left, swipe the knees right. Get a little movement going. Come on back to center, plant the feet down, reach the hands down and wiggle your shoulders underneath you to interlock the hands. So padding up those shoulders, rest your hips onto your fist, then inhale to lift the hips. Draw your knees slightly forward, strong core, draw the belly in and up, plug down into the heels, lift the hips up, press your shoulders down, lower down. We're going to repeat this four more times just to build a little heat. Inhale, hips up. Exhale, it down. Inhale, up for three. Exhale, down. Lift the hips for two. Drop the hips down. Last one. Inhale, lift the hips. And exhale, lower it down. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock a little side to side. And take a happy baby, hands inside arches of your feet. Plug your knees down, plug your tailbone down, rock side to side. Hug your knees back into your chest, rock up and down. We'll gain enough momentum, come into a forward fold at the top edge of your mat. Separate your feet hips width apart and you can start your music. Take your feet wide, bend your knees and let yourself fold into the thighs. Hands to opposite elbows, sway side to side. Find your breath here, your ujjayi. Breathe into upper back, inhale. Exhale, fold. One more breath in. One more breath out. Fingertips forward, walk your feet wider. Bend your knees, sit the hips lower. Reach your chest forward. Take a few pulses in your hips. Bounce up and down. And then you can stay here, level one or level two, reach the arms up, hook the elbows. Head can release down, bounce the hips up and down. Hands down, sit the hips up, rise all the way up, arms up, prayer to heart, exhale. Reach your arms up, bend the hips down, sit low. Then powering the legs, rise back up. Exhale, squat down. Three more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Level one can stay. Reaching up and down. Level two, as the hands come down, squat down, take a jump. Then sit back down, rise up. Exhale, sit low or take a jump. Bend the knees, rise up, inhale, exhale, sit low or take a jump. Come on back into 
your squat with the hands down. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And then exhale, we'll step right foot back, left foot back. Find a high plank. Round in your upper back. Shift weight forward and shift weight back. Strong legs, engage the quads. I'm already starting to build some heat. I have to thank you guys for keeping me accountable to make it onto my mat. And I'm talking extra so you stay in your plank. Hopefully you're still in your planks. Lower your knees down. Child's pose for a sec. But keep your child's pose active. So we're plugging down into arms and lifting our armpits as we take our ears between the biceps and press the hips back. Find that breath, inhale. Exhale, pull your upper back up towards the ceiling. Inhale. And exhale, we'll roll forward into cat position, rounding your upper back. Inhale, arch, cow. Exhale. And take three more rounds with your own breath. Inhaling to arch your spine. Exhaling to round your spine. One more. Inhale. Heart pulls forward. Lifting your hips high. And exhale, pulling your upper middle back up towards the ceiling. Come on back to a neutral spine. So from our cat cows, we're going to tuck our toes and walk your knees about two inches further back. So it's a long tabletop. Your knees are a little bit behind your hips. Press into your arms and round your upper back. Lift your knees up two inches and squeeze those knees towards your wrists. Squeeze those wrists towards your knees. Draw your shoulders forward. Feel some fire kick on in the legs and in the belly and in the arms. Keep tucking your tail, that pelvis tuck. Remember we did these twerks? We're going to do these twerks again. So press into your arms, round the upper back. Inhale to arch your hips up. Exhale, tuck your tail. Inhale, hips up. Exhale, tuck. See if you can go a little faster. Twerk. <laughs> this twerking action is actually very important for your inversions. Build some fire as you twerk. Okay, knees down. You can press back for a sec. Just windshield wiper side to side. And we'll come on back into our tabletop. Lift your left leg up and point the toes. Tap your toes down to the mat. Tuck your tail. Shift your weight forward. Strong left leg, it stays straight. Engage the quad. Then keep your tailbone tucked. We're going to lift that leg without opening our hip. Tuck the tail. Exhale, lower. Tail stays tucked, inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale. Exhale, two more. Inhale. Exhale, one more, keep it tucked, inhale. And exhale, reach it back, inhale, flex the foot. And then exhale, tap knee to nose. Inhale it back. Exhale, tap your left tricep. Inhale, circle it back. Exhale to the nose. Inhale. Exhale, left. One more. Inhale. I lied. Exhale, tap nose. Now inhale, reach it back. Exhale, tap the left tricep. Optional to bend your elbows halfway like chaturanga. Straighten the arms. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, tap the nose. Inhale it back. Exhale, left try. Bend your elbows halfway. Inhale, straighten. Send it back. And exhale to the nose. Last one. Inhale back. Exhale, left. Halfway bend. Straighten. Send it back. Toes down. Press back. Calf stretch. Oh, I gotta say, when I usually teach, I don't really do it with people. Man, now I know what they feel. <laughs> Spin your right shin back. 
spin your left foot down. Parigasana, gate pose. Press into your right arm, left arm lifts. Look up. And if you would like to take it into heart opener, feel your chest rise up. Even open your throat. Keep pressing firmly into your left foot. Come on back, look down. Stay in this Parigasana, it's a modified side plank. Bend your left knee and kick knee into your left tricep. Left hand to the knee. Pull the left knee into your rib cage, look up. Three. For two. And for one. Come on back to center into a tabletop. Restack wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, other side. Right leg extends back. Point your toes so the top of the foot is down. From there, tuck your tail. Tail stays tucked. Inhale, right leg up. Fight the urge to arch. Exhale, tuck it back, tap. Inhale, lift. Exhale, three, two. Inhale. Exhale, tap for three. Inhale, quad is strong, leg is straight. Exhale, tap four. One more, inhale. And exhale, tap for five. Lift the leg, flex your foot. Inhale, exhale, knee to your nose. Inhale it back. Exhale, draw it wide to the right, try. Inhale back, knee to the nose. Round your upper back. Inhale to your right try inhale exhale knee inhale back here comes the push-ups exhale to the right bend your elbows straighten the arms inhale exhale to the nose inhale it back to your right try bend straighten back to your nose one more inhale to your right try bend your elbows Straighten, back, toes down, press your heel back. Ooh, calf stretch. Left shin spins back, right heel presses down. Right arm can lift, looking up for Parigasana, gate pose. It's also very similar to your side plank. If you would like, heart opener, chest lifts up, open throat back. When you turn your gaze back to center, bend your knee. Point the knee up to the ceiling. Hand to your knee, pull thigh closer to your chest. Look up. Bottom hip is strong. Both knees down. Press it back through child's pose. Downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back and pedal out the feet. Inhale, open your mouth, exhale. Inhale, open, exhale. Inhale through your nose. This time close your mouth, repeat that same sound out your nose. Oceanic, exhale out, ujjayi. Two more breaths in your down dog. You can bend your knees and lift your hips high. Then activate your quads. They should feel like they could drive your hips back. Turn your gaze forward. Grab your block and place it in between your thighs. Squeeze that block. Everyone, we're going to try and jump forward while squeezing that block. Take as many jumps as you need. Look forward, keep your gaze forward. Bend your knees, little hop. Little hop, as far as you can go to lift up. Some of you guys might even handstand. Or land, top edge of the mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine, squeezing that block. Exhale, bending your knees as much as you need to fold. Hmm. Sway a little side to side, shake your head a little yes, a little no, like you're super confused. And just relax down. Release your block. 
They can come underneath your hands for a little more length. Inhale, lengthen your spine flat back. And exhale, we'll step our left foot back into a high lunge. Arms will reach up. Whew. So, I'm wiping away my sweat as you guys are in your high lunge, I hope. Find a strong lunge. This belly button, notice if it's turning out. See if you can turn your belly button to face forward. The right hip draws back, your left hip pulls forward. Belly in, strong abs, arms up. Hands come down. This is just optional, right? Level one, you can stay in a lunge. Level two, jump switch the feet. Okay, we're going to do five jumps. So this will be one. Ready, go. Left foot forward, right foot forward, left foot forward, right foot forward. You might get a little bit more height. Left foot forward, right foot forward, left foot forward. I kind of lost count. Land on the right foot forward. Arms up, high lunge. Okay, prayer to heart. Find your lunge and bend your left knee. Tuck your tail under. Stay this low. We're going to re-straighten the left leg. Arms will lift up. So the head doesn't lift up and down. I'm staying low. Inhale, straighten leg, arms. Exhale. Inhale, use your pelvis. Exhale, use your back leg. Inhale. And exhale, hands come down. Step right foot back. Shift your weight forward. Okay, right leg's going to lift. Exhale, tap to the nose. Inhale it back to your right try. Bend your elbows, straighten the arms. Inhale back, just one more. Exhale to the nose. Inhale back to your try. Level twos, bend the elbows. Level one, stay, straighten. Back, downward facing dog. Press back. So we're still building some heat in the body. Trying to work up a sweat. <laughs> I'm definitely starting to sweat. Then we're going to switch. So look forward. Before we squeeze the block, this time we're going to try and take the feet wide. So if you don't want to handstand on blocks, just move the blocks. Take your feet together. Bend your knees wide. Look forward. We're going to try and keep the knees wide. Keep your gaze forward. Jump, clap your feet. Doesn't have to be high. Jump, clap your feet. Eventually, jump, clap. Maybe even hold and the land, or don't hold, just land. Top edge of the mat, hips sit down, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold. Hands can go to blocks again. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale. Really should move my plant, I keep hitting it. Here we go again. Bend your knees this time. Interlock your hands, lift the chest. Fold. Send the fist away. Stretching your shoulders. Hands can come down. Inhale, lengthen your spine flat back. Exhale, we'll step our right leg back this time. High lunge. Rise up. And settle. Exhale, prayer. Or arms can stay up. Left hip back, right hip forward, belly facing straight forward. Strong left leg, strong right leg. So let's take the jumps. Level one can stay in a lunge. Level two, hands down. Jump switch, right foot forward, left foot forward, right foot. You might get a little bit more height left. Right, land on your left. High lunge. Everyone bend your back knee, prayer to your heart. Stay low. Tuck your tail under. Head doesn't lift. Just press right heel back as best as you can. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale two. One more. Exhale for one. Straighten back, hands down. Step, left foot back, high plank. Round in your high plank, strong shoulders, left leg lifts. Exhale to the nose, just twice. Inhale it back. 
left try. Bend your elbows. Straighten. Back. Exhale to nose. One more. Inhale it back to your try. Level twos can bend. Straighten. Back. Down dog. Or child's pose is a nice option here too. Catch your breath. My heart rate is up. I will tell you that. <laughs> so if you feel your heart rate up, everyone take an inhale through the nose with me. And open your mouth, release it out. <sighs> let your heart beat, let it be challenging. Embrace it, inhale. That's what it means to be alive. Open your mouth, exhale. <sighs> One more, draw the breath all the way up. Hold your breath this time. All that anxiety, all that fear, all that anger, hold it in there. Open your mouth, exhale. <sighs> Let it all go. Gaze forward. One more round of your handstand hops. You can bend your knees, whichever version, either squeezing your knees or opening them wide. Take three hops. See if you can come to the top edge of your mat. Land. Set your hips down. Block and go underneath your hips. Malasana. Whew. Prayer to your heart. Find calm and sit up tall. All that heat we just built, we're going to channel it into our practice. Lift your chest. Press into your palms to really broaden your collarbones. And we'll take a twist. Left arm in front of your left shin. Inhale, right arm up, look up. Level twos, half bind option. Find the crease of your inner left thigh. With the strength of your own inner thighs, peel the thighs open. Maybe full bind. This is always great with a strap too, right? This is always an option. And then slowly release, switch sides. Right arm is going to go out in front of the right shin. Left arm lifts, look up, half bind option. Maybe a full bind option. Open your heart. Inner thighs peel back. Belly in and up. Back to center. Turn your toes forward, lift the hips up. And remove the blocks for a moment to the side. Keep your knees bent so much that the left hand can reach to the inside of my foot, or your foot rather. There's a few options here. Level one, right arm simply lifts. Keep the hips low, lift your chest. Level two, half bind. Level three, full bind, optional with a strap, okay? Now listen or watch first. Level one, you're simply going to hold your heel. Look forward, stand up. If you're by a wall, use the wall for a sec, okay? Level two, you can take the bind with the strap or with your hands, bird of paradise. Bend your knees onto left tippy toes, stand up. Before you straighten your left leg, Firmly ground your standing right leg. And then plug that knee into your shoulder. Then you can kick out to straighten out. Breathe. Lower down. Left foot will step down. Level one, hand can go to a block. Level two, keep the bind. Right foot steps back. Side angle, okay, open your chest. Firmly ground your right foot into the mat. Pinky edge pressing down, inner arch maybe even lifting, and spin your chest. There's an option here, stay with the knee bent, or start to press it straight through the ball of the left foot. Tri Kanasana triangle pose, open your chest. Left hip drawing back. If you're in a bind or a half bind, use your own hand to assist your hip back. 
rib cage turns up. Everyone spin, cartwheel, right hand down, lower right knee down. Walk left foot wider. Blocks are really nice for this if you're on the tighter side or if you have like a little ottoman. I usually have my fiance on the ottoman. Okay, so we're going to find a lizard lunge. See if you can relax your forearms down onto some sort of surface block, ottoman, floor, yogi's choice. And then find a back bend. Lift your chest. Your back knee can be released down. If you want to engage it, you can also engage it. I'm trying to find a stretch here though. Okay. Wherever you are, come back onto your hands. My right hand will stay down on the floor. Level one, left hand, inner left thigh. Inner arch of the foot can lift. Just peel yourself to look back. If this is a lot, you're just going to stay. Level two, bend your back knee. Hand can go to the foot. You can even use a strap, right? Or grab the foot. Notice if you're doing this, scrunching your face, trying to like hold in. See if you can, ah, sigh it out through the hip. Relax your hips down, look back. For those that have more range, your foot can always come in closer. And look up. We'll slowly release it. Keep your foot wide. And again, this is a really nice modification if you have an ottoman. We're just going to back up the hips into a wide half split. Left foot can point up. Lift your chest. Again, avoid doing this. Cat. Pull your chest forward. That torquing action in your low back. Torque your butt up. <laughs> if you watch a lot of my classes or my workshops, which by the way, series are now available, you'll see that I cue a lot of this pelvic articulation as a secret to asana. You can watch that on YouTube. If you would like to take it deeper, you can take it any degree deeper. For those that have more range, you can just go into your full split. I'm just gonna move this ottoman again, right? Foot can come forward to the middle and you can find your split. You can sit on a block. Take it to where you can breathe. Your breath is such a strong indicator. Can you breathe into the heart? Strong quad. We'll come on back nice and slow into our lunge, lizard lunge. And we're going to see if we can take our left hand to cross underneath the leg to the outside of the foot, okay? Right shin, spin it back, just like that parigasana. And lift your heel up with a strap, or without the strap. I guess you have to flex the foot if you're using the strap. Or without the strap, hold your foot. And you might lift it up into modified side compass. Modified compass. Pull your arm. So if you have tight hamstrings, just bend the knee. Feel like half happy baby. Okay. Advanced variations. You know where you're going. You can spin the heel down, lift the leg up, take it out. All right, come on back. Left leg, sweep it up and back. Oh, bend that knee, stack your hips. That should feel amazing. If you have the arm balance kundinyasana, you can take it. All of those bent elbow chaturangas, that's what it prepares you for. Knee to the left, tricep. Bend, your elbows shift forward to lift up. If you have the hamstrings, you can straighten. 
Everyone, flip dog. Step left foot back. Lift your chest. Open your throat. Downward dog. Exhale. Inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, exhale it out. One more. Sigh it out, exhale. Look forward. Step, jump, float, top edge of your mat. Feet wide. We'll take it straight into the other side. Right hand down, inside of your right foot. Left arm up. So you can stay here, level one. Level two, half bind. Level three, full bind. Open your chest. Look up. Level one. Hand will pick up your right foot. Left hand to your hip. Onto your tippy toes, weight onto your left. Stand up with your right knee into your shoulder. Right? This is just where you can stay. Level twos, threes. If you're bound, you can take it into bird of paradise. Watch your bottom leg. Firmly ground it. And then slowly lower down. The right hand will stay, level one. You can keep the bind, level two, threes. Side angle. Adjust your stance. Press left foot down. Open your ribs. Half bind, full binders are still in the bind. Level one, arms straight up. Turn your gaze up. Strong back leg. And the option is Pressing into the ball of your right foot, you can straighten your right leg. Trikonasana. Right hip draws back. Left hip can turn down, but it's this rib cage that spins up. And the triangle is really underneath here. So notice the sideways if it's rounding. No longer a triangle. Right hip back, chest forward. There's actually many triangles happening here, right? You can screenshot it and try and draw it out later. <laughs> Slowly, we'll spin the hand down, bend our right knee, tap our left, lizard lunge. Right foot walks wider. So any Variations. Knee can be lifted. Knee can be down. Hands can be down. Forearms can be on blocks, stool, floor. But we're really trying to pull our heart forward. Being a proud lizard in this pose. Have you ever seen a lizard? I don't know, maybe. I haven't really seen that many lizards, but think of the lizard basking in the sun. Lifting your chest, even chin high. And imagine basking in the sun. You can come back onto your hands. The left hand can stay down. Right hand, inner right thigh, peel it open, look back. Optional to just stay if you feel it. Or you can bend the back knee. Hand or strap can hold onto the foot. And only go where you can still keep your face relaxed, where you can feel your hips melt down. If you feel your hips back up, see if you can go a little further and melt them down. A lot of times in our splits, it's the hip flexor holding us back more than the hamstring. For those taking it deeper, take it deeper. Chest pulse forward. Proud lizard. Slowly release, come on back. Hands maybe onto blocks. Back up your hips, half split, keeping your right foot wide. Lift your chest. 
strong right quadricep. You can even touch your quad. Make sure it's on. Right hip back, pelvic arch. And then from there, any variations you guys have. You can take it deeper. You can take it straight. Doing your best to try to find square hips. And if you are taking it deeper, that left butt, turn it on. Kick it on to feel like it could turn your left outer hip forward. I have a lot of progress photos of myself where I'm like in this driving phase is what my fiance calls. It's basically because I'm thinking so hard because there's so much going on. So think about the activation. There's a lot happening. Slowly, take your time. We'll come back into that lizard lunge. So this is always optional, right? If you want to just stay here, just stay. You're prob you might be on the tighter side. But the left shin is going to spin back for that compass variation. I'm going to lift my left arm. It's very similar to side angle. And then from there, I can lift onto my heels. Or if you're using a strap, flex the foot and use a strap. Okay? I'm going to take my hand to outside of the foot. So I'm crossing my shin under and planting the hand outside the pinky. Then from there, hand can hold the outer pinky edge foot and you can lift up. So if you're in a bent knee, that's okay. Really plug that right knee into the shoulder like that standing compass variation. Or you can straighten by kicking. If you're taking any other variations, you can take them. Try to come back out just the way you came in. Nice and slow reversing. Come on back. Tuck the toes, lift the knee. Down dog, split. Three-legged down dog. Bend the knees, stack the hips, make it feel good. Kundinyasana, right knee, right try. If you're first learning, it's really the spinning of this elbow underneath your rib cage. Shift forward to lift. And then you can take it back. Flip dog, wild thing. Right foot will step back. Inhale, open throat. Lean back. Lift your heart up. This chest pulls up. And then slowly come on back. Last one. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Since it's the last one, you might make it a jump. Land. Here. Knees bent wide. Sit the hips down. We've been here before. Level ones, prepare blocks. Walk them back. Like you're, like you're hut hut about to throw a football. <laughs> blocks behind your heels. Okay, so this is a setup. Titi Basana. Level one. Like you're trying to deliver a football reverse. We, I actually don't know which way you throw the football. So <laughs> reach it backward. Hands onto the blocks, fingers facing forward. Bend your elbows like a shelf. Sit back. Now don't lift up yet. Broaden your collarbones. Very important, broaden those shoulder heads back. Now lift to the tippy toes. Maybe lift your feet. Cross ankles is an option. Level twos, push-ups. And if you fall down, amazing. We're coming down. So we'll meet ourselves onto the mats. Fold your mat just enough so that your upper back can stay on it. This is where your fuzzy socks, your towels, so on might come in handy. Glider discs underneath your heels. You know it. We're going to work our hammies. Just like earlier, lift the hips, roll the shoulders underneath. Now, again, just listen to your body, right? We'll lift the hips up, flex your feet, kick out. Not too far to start, just feel it. Lift the hips, then kick back in. That might just be enough for you. 
Or you might just stay here. Level one, just stay is an option. It's always an option to just stay. There's also the option to advance forward. Kick forward. Kick back in. Two. Kick forward. Kick back in for three. Lift the hips. Kick forward. In for four. Forward. Five. Lift the hips up. Right leg up. Okay? Pulse up for five. Four. Three. Two. One. Switch. Right foot down. Lift the hips. Right knee, left knee lifts. Pulse up for five, four, three, two, one. Both feet down. Press the hips up, shoulders press down, lower down. Slide your feet out. Oh, feels great. Now, if there are any inversions you would like to end practice with, there's headstand, if that's in your practice. There's legs simply up, maybe even against the wall, feels really nice. Otherwise, you might take shoulder stand. Your mat's already padded up. Wiggle yourself. Wiggle yourself down until the shoulder heads are all the way onto the padded side of your mat. So again, the shoulders are underneath. Hips onto your fists, push your shoulders down. It's all shoulders here. Lift your hips up and you can just stay. Or you can bend your knees, hands to your low back for support, really onto those shoulder heads. Legs can go straight up. If it is that time of the month for you, you might just skip inversions. Always listen to your body. Knees maybe down to your third eye. This is really calming and grounding. Legs can go back. Hands can come down. Slowly roll down. Hopefully you have more space than I do, but you'll slowly come up onto your elbows and take fish pose. Open your chest and your throat. Open your mouth. Inhale. Open mouth, lie down, exhale. So if you need to adjust for your Shavasana in any way, please do so. Lengthen the shoulders, lengthen your tail. Eye pillow ready. Any additions ready. Take a full breath in. Open your mouth, exhale it out. And one more time, full inhale. Hold at the top. Open mouth, exhale. Shavasana.
Start to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers. Wiggle your toes. Breathe in. Breathe out. Arms reach up overhead. Inhale. Point toes away. Take a full body stretch. And slowly hug one knee into your chest at a time. Rock a little side to side. Rock a little up and down. Sit up nice and tall, face forward. Eyes close. Side prayer to heart. Full breath in. Open mouth, exhale it out. Chin bows to your chest. Thumbs to your third eye. So, so much gratitude. So, so much trust. Thank you, everyone. Namaste.